his heart to see huge things. <laughs> So and it, it is written on top of this, the 300 meter high pillar for the city of Paris, uh, made by Emile Mouchy and Maurice Kushka. The name I hope does not appear. By the way, 300 meters, that's a little bit more than 1,000 feet. Very symbolic number for the Anglo-Saxon market. So when they showed this to the boss, uh, he's, he thought, great, this is exactly what I mean, uh, what I need, the tallest building ever built in the world, as thousands of visitors came to this World's Fair, and something like this would have sent a very clear message. If we Eiffel, we have the knowledge, the experience, and the resources to build the tallest building in the world, no matter what you need to build in your country, we can do it. If there's one company that can do it, it's us. So why don't you consider making some business with us? Well, I told you he was at uh, first a uh, smart businessman. Of course, it's a metallic bridge in two levels. Low level for the car traffic and uh, above for the subway. By the, end, by the way, at the end of the cruise, if you want to take the metro, uh, go to the Birakian bridge. You have the metro line number six there. Now, the problem with the vertical bridge that leads to nowhere was to get the authorization. Because a lot of people were against that. Some said, anyway, it, it will collapse before they finish the construction, and this is going to kill hundreds of people. And others said, it's not going to fit and to match with the traditional architecture of Paris. But that I felt they replied, yes, but the French flag on the top will be the tallest flag in the world. Well, big deal if we can't even climb it. No stairs, no elevators, 